California magnitude 3.7 earthquake at Salton Sea volcanic area. This is an area flanked by the San Andreas and the San Jacinto faults. And these are the area, this is the area, the new statewide map faults released by California Geological Society survey. Discovered faults under and near the Salton Sea, and it's a volcano as we know, with mud volcanoes, and also has lithium deposits. It also has a geothermal plant, not only here, but also on the other side of the U.S.-Mexico border, on the Mexico side, and this is it right here. And I've been, uh, I was astonished to find that also this area was um, Navy conducting seaplane target bombing operations in the late 1930s, and uh, it's basically a military... Uh, bombing site for the Atomic Energy Commission. They used uh, depleted uranium for what I understand. I'll leave you a link for that as well. It's on the other side of Bombay Beach. Bombay Beach is where we had our 3.7. It's an area of mud volcanoes. It's basically south of Ridgecrest, as we'll see on the map. 3.7 is not small. And it's south of Los Angeles, about uh, 200 miles southeast. Let's take a look at the maps our uh, Sizewell Berkeley map and these are the uh, this is the size of the earthquake 3.7 I didn't put in all the other earthquakes the smaller ones because this would be well let's just, why not let's see it because you'll see that it's uh, quite active this area is quite active with earthquakes this is our garlic fault right there that's the San Andreas fault and it flanks the Salton Sea that way and uh, there we go and we had another one right on top of that 1.9 and um, quite a lot of activity there. This is Ridgecrest right there. Now, going back to our 3.7, 10 people reported feeling it. And uh, let's go to our shake map. And we can see the, uh, okay. We can, let's put in our faults as well so you can see what is there. And then our population density as you can see, that's Los Angeles right there, and uh, Mexico, that's the border. Let's take out the population so we can have a better view, and the aerial. Okay, so this was on the Bombay Beach on uh, this side of the, uh, of the east side of the lake. And going in further, that's San Andreas Fault, as you can see, this uh, San Jacinto Fault. And going in further, this is the area that has been shaken. Of course, it's very low-lying, and uh, salt and sea geology, saline, and Dorare Karif Lake, directly located directly on the San Andreas Fault in the state of California, Imperial Valley, occupying the lowest elevations of the salt and sink in the Colorado Desert of Imperial and Riverside County, Southern California, below sea level. It's 236 feet below sea level. The deepest point of the sea is five feet higher than the lowest point of Death Valley, and the sea is fed by new whitewater and Alamo rivers, as well as agricultural runoff, draining systems, and creeks. And uh, the history, the 19, uh, well, they don't go into the uh, uh, what it was used for, but increasing salinity is going on, earthquakes and tectonic settlement, aerial view of Salton Sea from the north, as you can see, there it is. Surrounded basin sits over the San Andreas Fault, San Jacinto Fault, Imperial Valley Fault, Imperial Fault Zone. They don't have a picture of it, but that's okay and a step over fault shear zone system. The shear zone is a very important structural discontinuity surface of the Earth's crust and upper mantle. It forms a response to inhomogeneous deformation, partitioning strain into planar or curvy planar high strain zones. They've determined that previous flooding episodes from Colorado River have been linked to earthquakes along the San Andreas Fault. Sonar and other instruments used to map the Salton Sea's underwater faults during the study and during the period when the basin was filled by Lake Cahuilla 
a much larger inland sea, earthquakes higher than magnitude 7 occurred roughly every 180 years. The last one occurred within decades of 1700. Computer models suggest that normal faults in the area are most vulnerable to deviatoric stress. Physical quantity expresses the internal forces that neighbor particles of a continuous material exert on each other while strain is a measure of the deformation of the material. Loading by filling in of the water. Currently, a risk still exists for an earthquake of magnitude 7 to 8. Simultaneous also show, simulations also showed in Los Angeles area shaking and thus damage would be more severe for a San Andreas earthquake that propagated along the fault from the south rather than from the north. Such an earthquake also raises a risk for soil liquefaction. Okay, because look at that. This is, of course, not California. That's another, another part of the world. Um, look at those buildings. They're just gone, even though they look new. Okay, because of the fact that um, the soil underneath acts almost like quicksand. So, such an earthquake would also raise a risk of soil liquefaction in the Imperial Valley region of Salton Sea. The effective damage of drainage divide that separates Salton Sea from the Gulf of California is about 9, 30 feet in elevation, located near Delta, Baja California, Mexico. Uh, the past sea level rise may partially be responsible for the salinity of the lake. So, uh, and volcanism, here are the uh, gaseous mud volcanoes that we were talking about. That's what they look like. The evidence of geothermal activity is also visible. The salt and buttes are volcanoes. There we are. A group of volcanoes in California, the salt and sea, consisting of 3.4 mile long row of five dome, lava domes named Mullet Island, North Red Hill, Obsidian Butte, Rock Hill, and South Red Hill. And uh, they are volcanoes in the geothermal field of the same name. Mud pots and mud volcanoes fought, formed on the eastern side of Salton Sea. That's where we have our Bombay Beach on the east side. The area is used for thermal, uh, the geothermal activity, electricity generation. Imperial Valley Geothermal Project, with plants located along the southeastern shore of Salton Sea in the Imperial Valley. Okay, that's it right here. Abandoned salt encrusted structures on the Salton Sea shore of Bombay Beach. How uh, enchanting. Okay, so, and then we said, uh, this is what we said that concerning the military positions of the Salt Sea Testing Range is just across from Bombay Beach, this area basically here. And um, the testing range, that's it right there. And warnings and uh, radioactivity, soil con uh, contaminants, you have all types of things there. Groundwater contamination and soil contamination, barium, acetone, beryllium, chromium, copper, lead, methylene, chloride, whatever you want, selenium, um, zinc. So uh, there was testing going on there. Uh, largely abandoned in the late 1960s, occasionally used for military live munitions. Um, although listed as inactive by 1987, the facility found renewed use as a site for Gulf War training maneuvers during the early 1990s. Most of the original buildings destroyed the base was decommissioned mid-1990s, and the land holdings turned over to the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation. So, um, this is what's going on there. As we said before, they can have a 7 to 8 magnitude, and there's also liquefaction. All of you there, please be very careful. As you can see, we have a lot of activity in Los Angeles, and a lot, uh, of course, also in the area around uh, Nevada, right here just east of Long Valley Caldera. Those swarms are still going on. And as we know, there's volcanoes there. Nevada is full of calderas. So please be very careful. This is Long Valley Caldera. That's Mono Lake of Long Valley Caldera, which is California's very high threat super volcano.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.